Well, good evening, everyone. Should we try that again? Yeah. Hey, good evening, everyone. Yeah. Now we're talking. I'm Marty Cavaluzzi. I am the president here at Pierce College Puyallup, and standing to my left is... I'm Maddie Martin. I'm the student body president at Pierce College Puyallup. Thanks, Maddie. Hey, it's my pleasure and honor to welcome all of you to the 2017 Student Awards Ceremony. Um, Maddie? Yeah. Take it away. Thank you. I am honored to be here tonight. Before we begin, I'd like to say thank you to our student volunteers who took the time out of finals week to be with us and ushered our guests in. I'd like to thank all the people who worked on the program tonight and made it possible. And finally, I'd like to thank all of you for being here. It's always incredible to recognize people who truly deserve to be recognized. You know, when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to say to all of you, I found myself at a loss for words. I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to go about it. And frankly, after writing a commencement speech, a letter to the Post, and a letter for the time capsule, I'm running out of material. <laughs> so I want to take this time to reflect and just say thank you. Thank you to the student leaders who have challenged me and helped me to grow as an individual. There's something so invigorating about being associated with a group of students who all have the same intention of serving other people. I'd also like to thank all the staff and faculty who continuously go above and beyond for the students who attend Pierce. Your devotion to our success is so empowering and I'm so thankful for all of the time and effort that you put into your positions. It is you who allow us to pursue our goals and dreams, and you are truly making a difference in our lives. Thank you to all the students who have decided to prioritize their education, the ones who understand all of the opportunities that are provided through higher ed and are willing to do almost anything to obtain their dreams. Each of you are so inspiring. Nelson Mandela once said that education is the most powerful weapon in which you can use to change the world. And I continue to believe that each of you have the ability to make a difference within your communities. So thank you to Pierce College for giving me the opportunity to pursue my education. I'm the first person in my family to ever receive my degree, which means on Friday, I will probably have the biggest crowd of people in the dome. In fact, my grandmother joked about bringing a noise shaker to graduation, and I'm still wondering if it was a joke. My parents have always been supportive of me and my dreams. They made it clear that they wanted more for me than they had and thought that education would be the best way to provide that. They also explained to me that they were not going to be able to afford college for both my brothers and myself, so finding a way for me to receive my degree would be a personal task. The Running Start program at Pierce has allowed me to afford my education and has made it possible for me to pursue higher education. I am so grateful for all of the opportunities that I have had here. Above all, I am so glad that I could serve as your student body president. It has been the most gratifying experience. With that being said, welcome. Thank you for being here tonight. And I'm excited to honor some incredible individuals and organizations. Thank you, Maddie. So we're here tonight to honor students for their academic achievements. Before we do that, there are four groups that I want to recognize because they have helped each and every student be successful. The first group I want to recognize is the Board of Trustees. Each college district is governed by a Board of Trustees. This is a policy-making body comprised of five community members appointed by the governor for five-year terms. We are fortunate to have a very engaged and caring board who strive to ensure we fulfill our mission of creating quality educational opportunities for a diverse community of learners to thrive in an evolving world. At this time, I'd like to recognize two of our Board of Trustees members who are with us this evening. Our Board Vice Chair, Amadeo Tiam, is here in this room. There he is in the back. And our Board Member, Brett Willis, right over there. Thank you both very much for being here and as always supporting student success. The second group I want to recognize is the Pierce College Foundation Board. This volunteer board works tirelessly to raise funds to support academic excellence and educational access. Although they serve several functions around student access, the primary one that you know about is the raising of funds for scholarships. So we thank you for your support of Pierce College and the huge impact you have on our students' lives. 
Thank you. If there are any board members here, thank you very much. There's a third group I would like to recognize play a huge role in student achievement. We call ourselves employees. So every one of us plays an integral part in helping students achieve their goals. So could I ask every Pierce College employee, including faculty, staff, and administrators, to the best of your ability, stand up with some energy and be recognized. And thank you all very much. Yeah. That's fantastic. The fourth group I'd like to acknowledge is comprised of the parents, children, friends, and relatives here tonight who support today's award recipients day in and day out. Can we please get a round of applause for these individuals? <laughs> to the Board of Trustees, the Foundation Board members, the Pierce College employees, the parents, children, friends, and relatives, I give you the sincerest thank you I can offer. Thank you all very much for being here. So no one is successful on their own. It takes a huge support group, and your support makes all the difference. So thank you for that. We'd like to start off tonight's program by presenting a scholarship award to some very amazing students. The first award is the All Washington Academic Team Awards. The All Washington Academic Team is sponsored by Phi Theta Kappa, the International Honor Society for two-year colleges. This program honors and recognizes our state's finest community and technical college students. The, student who make up, the students who make up the All Washington team reflect the diversity of the state, maintain high academic standards, and contribute positively to the community. Their stories are often inspiring, sometimes surprising, and always reflective of the larger story of today's community and technical college students. So please join me in congratulating the 2017 All Washington Academic Team recipients for Pierce College Puyallup, Nan Ta and Carly Tyron. Let's talk about Nan. As an international student from Vietnam, Nan Ta knows exactly what other international students go through as they adjust to their new environment. This challenging transition period inspired uh, Nan to create the International Club as a way to provide additional support for his fellow students. He has worked for the college in several roles as the Office of Student Life's Diversity and Equity Coordinator and the Student Success Office's Student Ambassador. Nan plans to study international business in the future of his, at his dream school, University of California, Berkeley. Come on out. Our second All Washington Academic Team member is Carly Tryon. Running Start student Carly Tryon has always enjoyed challenging herself in her education. After attending high school at Tacoma Science and Math Institute and spending three hours a day commuting to school, three hours a day commuting to school, yes, she discovered Pierce College's Running Start program. In addition to eliminating a long commute each day, her experience at, Peace, at Pierce College has provided her with the direction and challenge she needed. Tryon, or Carly, plans to transfer to a university to study environmental science or, bio or biology. She hopes to one day obtain a leadership position in a National Park Service. Yes! <laughs>
The next award I would like to present is the Students Serving Washington President's Award. This award is presented to a student that is engaged in addressing and solving critical issues and community needs. This student demonstrates strong leadership and commitment to service and strives to make a difference every day. This scholarship is presented to Katerina Schwab. So while Katerina is coming up here, as soon as she hits that corner of that stage, I'm going to tell you that Katerina is the epitome of an outstanding student leader, serving both the college population and the local community. She has served as a peer mentor for children, helped serve nourishment to people qualifying for free meals, and has helped to raise money for funding research, education, advocacy, and patient services for the American Cancer Society. Katerina's uh, demonstrated leadership and vision have made a positive impact on many lives, and I have no doubt her commitment will only grow stronger. Katerina. Now I would like to introduce Victoria Hill, Director of Financial and Scholarship Services from the University of Washington, Tacoma. Victoria will be presenting the UWT Next Step Scholarship Award. Come on up. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm pleased to be here tonight at Pierce College Piala to present the 2017 Next Step Scholar Award. The Next Step Scholarships are among the University of Washington, Tacoma's most prestigious awards. Applicants with a GPA of at least 3.5 are nominated by their community college presidents, thank you Dr. Capaluzzi, and selected by the UW Tacoma Scholarship Committee. The Next Step Endowment provides significant support to community college transfer students for their junior and senior year and was created by the generosity of 30 donors in 1998. The value of the 2017 Next Step Scholarship is up to $12,000. Seven Next Step Scholars are selected each year, one from each community college. I'm proud to announce that the 2017 Next Step Scholar from Pierce College is Augustine Canales. <laughs> Augustine, please come up to the stage. I forgot his certificate, so. <laughs> Come on over here by me, just hang out over here. Augustine is an excellent student who's maintained a 3.94 grade point average. He's an active member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor, Honor Society and is regularly on the president's list at Pierce College Puyallup. Augustine is also an active member of the community, mentoring students in Math 98 and Math 146 and taking part in setting up events that help the homeless through the Raiders Rescue Outreach Club. Augustine will be attending UW Tacoma starting August, I'm sorry, starting autumn of 2017 to pursue his bachelor's degree in social welfare. Congratulations to Augustine on his selection of the 2017 Next Step Scholar, and we at UW Tacoma are excited for him to be a part of our community. Thank you and welcome, Augustine. <laughs> Thank you, Victoria, and congratulations again, Augustine. Now, please join me in welcoming Ms. Deidre Swallow, Vice President of Strategic Advancement. Ms. Swallow will be presenting the Pierce Now Scholarship. The $1,200 Pierce Now Scholarships are for Pierce College adult basic education and English as a second language students who would like to begin taking college level courses. The students have to apply and then be selected by their faculty members, by their instructors. So we have two recipients from Pierce College Puyallup this year and I'd like both of you to come up. I think you're both here. If you could both come up at the same time. Eusenia Bacamantes and Teresa Ramos. Ramos. Can you please both come up here? 
while they're making their way up here, I want to tell you, as I read their applications, um, it, it was very hard to cut it down into something that I thought was reasonable to, to read to you tonight because, the, I mean, they're just overwhelming. And we only have one today? Okay, I'm going to introduce Teresa and then I'm going to read to you about Yesenia as well. Teresa was born and raised in poverty in the Philippines, youngest of seven children. Five of those children fin finished elementary school and three of those went on and finished high school. But one day Teresa was listening to her mother and her mother was saying she was so sad that none of the children had finished college and wondered where had she and her husband gone wrong that none of them had done that and that they, they were never going to have the good life. So Teresa made a promise to herself that she would study hard and work to make her parents proud of her and to make their dreams come true. After a number of financial and health-related setbacks, and in that one sentence, I'm trying to summarize a page of absolutely heartbreaking realities that this young woman has been through. After those setbacks, uh, she met her husband and moved to the United States in 2015. In her application, Teresa says, I am eager to finish my schooling until I become a nurse. So I ask my teacher and classmates if they know of some jobs for me. Even cleaning house, babysitting, maybe a part-time job. My life is a roller coaster, lots of ups and downs, but I will never give up. And so, we look forward to what else we're going to hear from you. Congratulations, Teresa. Thank you. Well, So Yusenia uh, was expected to be here, but I want to read to you about her anyways, because this is the caliber of the students that we are supporting out of the foundation. Yusenia was born in Mexico. At the age of 14, Yusenia left school, got married, and had her first child. She moved to the United States in 2001 with her husband and their, at that point, three children. Shortly after moving here, and after enduring 15 years of domestic violence, Yesenia obtained a divorce. In her own words, everything was hard after the divorce, but it was also the best thing that can happen to us. Everything changed for me and my children because in this country, the law helped us and they took him out of our lives. Yesenia is remarried to a man who won her children's respect and became their father. Without a high school diploma or GED, she is not eligible for financial aid right now. So what this scholarship is going to do is going to get her through her first quarter of college level coursework and at that point she will be eligible for financial aid. Did I say that right, Laurie? Yeah. Okay. Um, she says, and, and her application is so full of gratitude, it, it's hard for me to believe. I don't say our life is really difficult because thank God my husband has a good job. He is willing to work hard, pay our bills, and help support me until I am done with my school but we are living paycheck to paycheck. So you say Nick, congratulations, and we will uh, make sure that she hears that everybody was happy for her. Thank you. time and I, I would like to introduce the Matt Campbell, Pierce College Pre-Ops Vice President for Learning and Student Success, who will present the Outstanding Student Awards. Come on out, Matt. All right. Thank you, the Marty Cavaluzzi. Uh, good evening. I am privileged to stand before you tonight uh, to announce the Outstanding Student Awards for 2016-17. Uh, each year, our faculty members are asked to select one student from uh, each of the academic departments to be recognized for their outstanding academic achievements. These students have established themselves as particularly deserving uh, of praise through hard work, 
commitment to excellence, and contributions to the college community, especially their fellow students. Indeed, many of them have faced uh, doing this while performing multiple jobs, having compounding um, family obligations, and uh, just confronting a lot of barriers that are non-academic while also confronting the academic barriers that, that um, they've, they've moved through and excelled at. So we're particularly excited to, to give out these awards. It's now our pleasure to recognize the outstanding students from the Health and Technology, the Arts and Humanities, the Business and Social Sciences, and that, the Natural Sciences, and the Transitional Studies Divisions, as well as the Information Studies and Library and Learning Resources. So uh, I think everyone's got this down. We're coming up that side. I, think, I don't think anything's changed. Um, but faculty will be coming out here, announcing the awards. They'll present that award, and then um, uh, you, uh, it says, using the right side for access. It says, Matt, make sure you get this right. So I just wanted to make sure we're coming up that side. So uh, the first um, area that we are going to give awards in is the uh, Health and Technology Division. So we'll rec recognize the outstanding students in those areas. And our first presenter, I believe, is Brandy. Oh, here she comes. And I'm here to recognize our um, students from Computer Information Systems and Computer Network Engineering. So the first student had a family emergency and couldn't make it, but she's from our CIS department, um, Computer Information Systems. Christina Manalise. So she is a 3.94 honor student in the CIS department. She has been the person to watch when teaching complex database or software techniques. If she doesn't get it, then we know no one will. Students in her cohort were surveyed for their recommendation for this award. They nominated her, agreeing with the summary that she always seemed to be the first person to figure out issues and would always be glad to help students who were struggling with the content. Christina will be graduating with the Associate in Health Informatics, the Associate in Database Management, the Certificate in Healthcare Database Management, the Certificate in Business Analysis, as well as the Certificate in Application Development. The CIS faculty and staff are happy to call Christina Manalise our outstanding student for 2017. Our next student is Jonathan Brock from Computer Network Engineering. Jonathan has consistently proven himself worthy of this award. He has an impressive 4.0 grade point average in his 75 college level credits at Pierce. That's <laughs> Meaning that he's been recognized on the president's list for the last six quarters. His faculty describe him as a lifelong learner committed to excellence. He's inquisitive and constantly searching for knowledge. He's on track to complete his associate in computer network engineering with a certificate in computer information systems over the next quarter. Jonathan will be giving back to our community as he transitions careers from a job in manufacturing to his self-described self dream job as a 911 telecommunications coordinator with Pierce County Emergency Management Office, where he will be working to upgrade communication systems. With his positive attitude and admirable persistence, we're sure he will flourish. Congratulations to our 2017 Outstanding Student. Oh, I was looking at the direction that said, give certificate to winner and pause for <laughs> Erica Reynolds is the nominated outstanding student for the BTEC department. Erica Reynolds began the BTEC IBES program in the summer of 2016. She is an incredibly determined and successful student and has decided to continue her education at Pierce and will be completing an associate's degree in general office. 
In the process of creating her educational plan, she found out that she was qualified for work study and is currently a teacher's assistant for the IBEST students. Erica is a great role model for the new IBEST students while continuing to be an outstanding student in the BTEC department. Good evening. I'm Rhonda Durano. I'm the director of the nursing program here at Pierce College Puyallup. And on behalf of the nursing program faculty, it is my honor and pleasure to introduce to you Lainey Goodlett, our 2017 nursing, outstanding nursing student. In the nursing program, come on up, Lainey. <laughs> In the nursing program, the decision of who to choose for this award is not so much made on the basis of GPA, although I'm sure hers is excellent, as are all of our students, to get into the program, but rather on the character and qualities highly valued in nursing. Since her entry into the program, Lainey has won our hearts as a person with so much integrity and pure desire to become an amazing nurse. She has demonstrated our program's core values consistently with her development and competence and skills her attainment of a vast amount of knowledge in a very short period of time, and most remarkably, her truly caring and compassionate nature. Lainey, like so many nursing students, has encountered academic and personal challenges during her time with us, but in every circumstance, she owned it and dug deep within herself to pull through the situation without making excuses, placing blame, or finding shortcuts. Lainey Goodlett is an outstanding student ready to become an outstanding registered nurse. Thank you, Rhonda. Let's hear it once again for the recipients in the Health and Technology Division. We will now recognize the outstanding students in the Arts and Humanities Division. Our first presenter will be Dean Holly Smith. All right. So I am here instead of Scott Eigner. So uh, the student that we are recognizing in art is Lydia Selk. If Lydia can make her way up. Um, so. <laughs> so speaking as Scott, I, Scott, have had Lydia for a few art courses now, and she's been a presence in our classrooms and hallways regularly. In every experience, she presents herself as thoughtful, intelligent, and caring. She's an excellent student who always strives to put forth her best effort, and as a result, produces work, both visual and written, that is academic, insightful, and carefully considered. She's a keen observer of the world and expresses herself regularly in photography. She's always up for an intellectual challenge and is worthy of recognition. Uh, if anybody has had the opportunity to see the student art display in uh, the gallery next door, unfortunately it's closed right now, uh, but we did have about a month of viewing and you had four pieces in that show. So that definitely speaks to your ability. So congratulations, Lydia. I'm Nikki Poppin Egan. I teach communication studies. And when we sat down to think about a student that best represented what we are proud of in our communication studies department, Natali Navas's name easily came to mind as our outstanding student of the year. One of the things that we pride ourselves on in communication studies is the idea embodied by author Isaac Dennison that to be a person is to have a story to tell. And whether you take Communication Studies 220 or Intercultural Communications 105, that is a theme that all of us strive to promote for our students. 
Find your voice, tell your story. And that's what Natalie Nabas did all year. I had the privilege to have her in Intercultural 105, <laughs> where she told her story through the various projects and presentations we got to do in that class. Dr. Joshua potter Deneen had her uh, the rest of the year, winter and spring, in communication studies, and she continued that trend. It is courageous to tell your story, always, but it's even more courageous to inspire other people to tell theirs, and Natalie does both of those things so well. When Natali leaves us, she will likely continue her studies at Pacific Lutheran University, and wherever she goes, she plans to major in intercultural communication. Tonight, Natali, Joshua, and I both wish you the best of luck. We know we still have you here for a little while at Pierce, and wherever you go, we hope you keep telling your story, because that is how the world will change, one story at a time. Hi, I'm Beth Stevens, and I'm here to announce the English Student of the Year, Evan Casa. Evan, are you here? Yay! So one reason that this award is so special to me is that Evan is a fully online student, and this is actually the first time I'm ever meeting him face to face. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really nice to meet you, Evan. Um, he has taken composition and 200 level literature courses online. Online study is so demanding. It takes self-motivation and consistency. And Evan has just um, surpassed every expectation of every assignment day after day, week after week in all the quarters that he's been in my classes. Um, he writes eloquently, he thinks deeply, he's analytical. Everything about what you've done in um, online English uh, classes is exactly what warms the heart of the English teacher. And for those reasons, you are our English Student of the Year. So I am now Natalie Tomaszewski, who is our French faculty member. And um, she has nominated Morgan Pasquier. Can Morgan come on up? <laughs> Mademoiselle Morgan Pasquier has been an exceptional student in French for three quarters. Morgan has decided to renew her French ancestry. She started to communicate with her family in France in order to organize a family reunion. She has hence perpetuated the American tradition of renewing and looking for immigrants' ancestry through the world. In class, she's demonstrated an excellent study, ethics, and great teamwork ability. She has contributed to the French club, even though she is also a member of other different clubs, such as the LGTB club, her feedbacks in class and outside of class have been extremely valuable to me as an instructor. Morgan has demonstrated great talent for leadership, intelligent, poised, enthusiastic, and all-inclusive, makes Mademoiselle Morgan a great example of peer students in an international community and experience. Congratulations. <laughs> Beth Stevens. I, this time I'm announcing our Humanities a Student of the Year, Rebecca Dixon. Rebecca. Oh no, is she not here? Oh no, okay. Well, I'm going to have to talk about her for longer than my 80 words in that case so that you know how spectacular she is. So Rebecca, um, 
As a humanities student, she understands the importance of the humanities to the success of every great culture. She is um, everything we want a humanities scholar to be. She is diligent in her work, not only in, um, in academics, but in her community as well. She's written some really intriguing pieces for the Post this year, if you've been following her work there. Um, Every time I suggest that students go off campus to an event, I invariably run into Rebecca there, and usually her family as well. Um, they all come and learn from, um, from community events. She's transferring to UWT, she's in the Global Honors Program, and I just, I wish that she were here so she could know so much that she inspires me every day to work harder and to learn more, and she gives me hope for the future. I know she's gonna do great things. All right, so um, this is an award for journalism to Malisha Hines. Malisha is not able to attend, I don't think. Please stand up if you are here. <laughs> but we're going to accept on her behalf. Uh, but we did want to acknowledge her to, to all of us. So Malisha is an amazing individual and student who cares about the quality of her work. She's dedicated, involved, and a lifelong learner. She invested herself in her journalism classes. Malisha is also a connector. In other words, she shares her experiences and what she learns with others. So we are graciously accepting on her behalf and we will make sure that gets to her. Hi, um, my name is Katrina Winsler and I'm a professor of philosophy here and I'd like to present the, our outstanding student award in philosophy to Roma Tabachny. Roma shows a deep respect and curiosity for philosophy as an enterprise and he is keenly interested in the details of logical argumentation. He pushes far beyond course material and is dedicated to understanding pertinent issues such as the ethics of belief, why we have an obligation to be critical thinkers, and how philosophy relates to the real world, specifically to animal ethics. He's dedicated to making a positive contribution to society and to animals, and he uses what he's learned in philosophy in service of this goal. I've been very lucky to have him in two of my classes this year. Congratulations, Roma. My name is Janina Starr, and I'm ASL faculty here, and um, I want to tell you about Felicia Mohammed. Felicia was a delight to have in my ASL classes these past two quarters. Every day she came in with a smile, participated and volunteered often, and was always willing to try new ways to express herself in ASL. In addition, she has a wonderful sense of humor. One of the assignments in ASL 122 is to learn how to sign a true story. Um, basically, this is taking an experience that happened to her and then learn how to put it into ASL. The story she shared about her three-year-old nephew was priceless and hilarious, especially when she showed me the picture of what he had done. Felicia, I wish you the best in your college endeavors. Just getting started, let's hear it again for all the recipients in Arts and Humanities Division. <laughs> the next set of awardees comes from our Business and Social Sciences Division, and our first presenter is faculty member Linda Sorella. I have the honor and privilege of introducing to you the outstanding business student for uh, Pierce College Puyallup. Aladia, excuse me, Aladia Gann. She said to make sure to not mispronounce her last name, so of course I stumble over it. Let me share with you a little bit about Aladia. I have taught for over 25 years, and I have yet to come across a student who has earned a perfect 4.0 in all of her business and business management courses. <laughs> Mm 
now consider English is not her first language. She not only is Eladia outstanding in the classroom, she has gone above and beyond to serve the Pierce College community. She single-handedly started and led the Pierce College Puyallup Business Club this past year, overseeing numerous events and field trips to the benefit of the Pierce College community. In her spare time, she is a tutor for seven subjects, a further witness of her business skill set. She has also been invited to work with a new uh, biotech development company. It's an incubator company in Tacoma. And at the, her first meeting with program manager Dan Jensen, he described Eladia as, quote, a, having a wonderful attitude and is clearly very ambitious. I really like the way she perceives and thinks as well. Eladia was recently um, extended $3,400 in scholarship to attend Evergreen State University. Obviously, there's no one more deserving. I am in awe of her. I'm John Lucas, and I'm here speaking for Steve Jones to present the Outstanding Economics Award to Crystal Clemens Busick. <laughs> Crystal here? Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, what Steve has to say about Crystal is Crystal has exhibited intelligence, consistent effort, and responsible dedication throughout both micro and macroeconomics. She has been engaged in class and has always been ready to help her fellow students. Her insights have been perceptive. She has remained very good humored and has indeed been a pleasure to watch. And so let's give Crystal a hand and we'll make sure she gets <laughs> Hello everyone, Daniel Sass, Sociology. I'm here to actually present this award for Outstanding Student in History to Isaac Karai. So here's what Professor Chris Vanison had to say about Isaac. Uh, Mr. Isaac Karai is a very bright, ambitious young gentleman with strong interests in several fields. History, geography, computer science, astronomy, his academic record is truly stellar. An extremely energetic youngster, Isaac combines successfully his studies with volunteer work as a judo coach and playing the guitar. Isaac epitomizes the best attributes of the youth of our nation. Congratulations. So on behalf of Professor Chris Vanison once again, um, the Outstanding Student Award for Interdisciplinary Studies goes to Grace Mignoli. Here's what Professor Vanison had to say about Grace. Miss Grace Mignoli is an exceptionally erudite, wow, industrious, and highly motivated young lady. She has not only an outstanding academic record, but is also involved actively in volunteer work as a teacher's aide in children's programs, as well as fundraising campaigns for medical research. Grace is very interested in the social sciences, and I believe that she can excel in any of them since she possesses superb analytic and writing abilities and is a humanitarian at heart. Congratulations. <laughs> Oh, 
Hello, um, I'm presenting this on behalf of Tony Granada. Um, so the Michael Lamka Mathematical Achievement Award goes to Daniel Hamilton. Okay, so uh, Professor Granada wrote this about Daniel. Daniel is truly an all-around outstanding student and a joy to have in the classroom. He has an inquisitive mind and is known for asking deep and intriguing questions. He's a leader in the classroom, and I frequently see, see him assisting other students in their studies. He immerses himself completely in what he is studying, using every resource for success that he can possibly use. Congratulations, Daniel. So uh, I'm John Lucas again, and or still, and <laughs> uh, this time is the award that um, uh, we got to pick as a political science department, and uh, this is award to the outstanding political science uh, student, and it's going to Alexandria Swanson. So. <laughs> <laughs> And as, as you can see with the yelling, the faculty, or tonight we kind of talk to each other like, and you'll see one person, oh yeah, I wish I could have picked that person too. So we are, so, um, so there's a lot of people here who um, we're all appreciating that. Uh, and so Alexandria is among them, among a lot of all the other great students this year. Um, political science is a feel, field where the goal is not just to train students to intellectually understand their political world, but also to encourage them to apply their knowledge through civic engagement. Alexandria Swanson is an inspiring example of how these two can be combined. She is always one of the top students in class and is astute in her analysis of international and domestic political issues. But outside of the classroom, she has also distinguished herself. She is a leader in YMCA's Youth and Government Program and could recently, recently be seen on TVW speaking in Olympia as part of that program. And she has also been very active in the Freezing Nights program, which provides assistance to the homeless in the area. So whatever career Alexandria ends up pursuing, and it's going to be in politics, I know that she will continue to be a model citizen, inspiring the rest of us. So. Back again, okay. Uh, this time I'm presenting the award for the outstanding student in psychology on behalf of Professor Leon Kalsa, and the award goes to Pat Stacy. So here is what Professor Kalsa had to say about Pat Stacy. Pat deserves this honor as the outstanding psychology student for two reasons. One, Pat's course meets the highest standards of ac academic quality. I'm old. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> two, Pat's kindness and generosity to supporting and engaging the other students in her class and her discussion forums. Uh, Pat consistently contributed comments of wisdom, originality, humor. And, I'm old. And, two, <laughs> and deeply reflected life experiences. She was and is a positive resource for everyone who participated in the Psych 100 class. Okay, this is the last one, I promise, from me. Uh, okay, so the next award goes to, for the sociology, outstanding student award for sociology goes to Katerina Schwab. Okay, so I've had the privilege of having Katerina in a couple of my classes, and I just appreciate all of the critical questions and courageous questions and comments in class. 
And that often translated to a lot of learning for other folks in our class. Um, it also means she talks and talks and <laughs> talks and talks, right? I think if I could give her the mic, she would probably just talk right now, right? Um, but I'm really happy that she's thinking about, already thinking about graduate school down the road and social psych. Um, and I just couldn't think of a better person, a better student to get this award. So congratulations. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, one more round of applause for all the recipients in the Business and Social Science Division. All right, that's, that sounds pretty good, but we've still got a lot of night in front of us. So we were backstage and we thought maybe we should give an award to Daniel as this is the award award for giving the most awards. So you can practice being loud and, and cheering like you really want to for each of these divisions and each of these awardees. So, so let's cheer for Daniel right now. Ready, go. All right, thank you very much. Um, the next group of folks are, um, uh, we want to recognize our awardees in the information studies and library and uh, learning resources. So our first presenter will be Kathy Swart. I think. <laughs> Let me check on that. Hello, I'm Kathy Swart. <laughs> so, uh, I'm ad-libbing. So our first award here uh, will, um, was nominated by Kathy Swart, and it goes to Yishi Ma uh, for uh, information studies. <laughs> Isha is the kind of students all faculty dream about because of her extraordinary curiosity, determination to improve, and open-minded pursuit of the truth. Early in the course, I was very demanding about students' writing, even of my international students who have bravely come here to study in a foreign language. Isha responded to my high expectations by working diligently on her writing, and I was overjoyed when I saw her writing conveying the same wisdom and intelligence she revealed in our conversations. Isha impressed me especially with her willingness to explore the idea of bias in information to a level I've rarely seen, and it was beautiful to witness her many aha moments on her way to her final assignment, an excellent revision of a Wikipedia entry about women in Islam. Congratulations. Anderson. <laughs> um, the next award we give is in library and learning resources, and in particular we're looking at service learning. Um, uh, and the nominated by Becky Anderson, who coordinates our service learning, uh, and is Katarina Schwab. Katarina genu uh, genuinely cares about helping people. She has served as a peer mentor for children at Ridgecrest, Stewart, and Spinning Elementary Schools within the Puyallup School District. Through this program, Katarina encouraged academic success and post-secondary education to economically disadvantaged fourth through twelfth graders. She would spend at least two hours a week after school doing activities and assisting kids with homework and learning. On campus, Katarina has been very active providing support and assistance when needed. She was on the Technology Student Association, the TSA, for two years and helped to raise money for funding research, education, advocacy, and patient services for the American Cancer Society. Katerina is a prime example of how service learning can further a person's va value system and extend that into a lifelong passion for service that will inspire others and enhance our local and global communities. Congratulations. Thank you, 
Becky. All right. <clears throat> so uh, the nominating faculty of the Natural Science Division will now recognize the outstanding students in their areas. And the first presenter will be biology faculty member Dale Blum. Hi, I'm Dale Blum, and I think our outstanding um, student isn't attending, but that's Lauren Eisenberg. Lauren, are you here? No, and I did not think so, but Lauren has been an outstanding and enthusiastic student with a clear vision and dedication to achieving her career goals. She's been very helpful to her fellow students in both um, the laboratory lecture sections and also as a supplemental instructor in both microbiology and anatomy and physiology. And Joseph Cates Carney and I would really like to thank her for her excellent job in that position. And we'd like to wish her, and hopefully all you would too, wish her all the best as she starts in the dental hygiene program here at Pierce College. Hi, I'm Katie Olson Tiglau, and I am pleased to be recognizing Reed Starks as the outstanding chemistry student. <laughs> So when Reed started taking chemistry at Pierce, he was like many of the students we see um, in the chemistry department, he was taking prerequisites for the nursing program. Um, but it was quickly apparent that Reed had an aptitude and an interest in chemistry, and he certainly kept me on my toes asking um, excellent questions. Um, and after taking the chemistry classes for the nursing program, he switched to being a chemistry major, yeah. which is awesome. Um, <laughs> We don't see many of those around here, but um, he has excelled in all of the chemistry classes he has taken from me, which I think now is up to five, um, and has also been an excellent supplemental instructor um, for the other students and has really just been an amazing asset to the chemistry department. So, congratulations. <laughs> Good evening, I'm Tom Bush with the Earth and Space Sciences Department. I am very pleased to present this year's Outstanding Student Award in the Earth Sciences to Amelia Lingle. Come on down, are you here? I know you're here. There she is. Amelia took physical geology this winter quarter uh, where she excelled in every aspect of the course, including exams, lab work. She was a great lab partner and those pesky daily questions at the beginning of each class. She even aced the very challenging mineral and rock lab test where students are forced to identify 105 samples. Five of them are extra credit. As a result, she is now a volunteer lab assistant in that same class this quarter, where her dedication to student success, subject matter knowledge, and interpersonal skills allow her to excel in this function. She goes well beyond expectations, even dedicating one entire Friday afternoon to being available for students to help them study for their upcoming mineral and rock identification lab test. Amelia just finished taking environmental geology this quarter. As expected, she had excelled in every aspect of the course, just like last quarter. Unfortunately for us, but good for Amelia, she will be moving on to uh, uh, UW Tacoma and getting her associate's degree in science track one uh, at Pierce College. She'll be starting at UW Tacoma this fall, where I'm sure she will continue to uh, continue as an outstanding student there. Congratulations, Amelia, and thank you for all you have done. I'm Alan Mann, and I'm presenting the Engineering Award to Oscar Martin. So Oscar has taken all five of the engineering classes offered at Pierce with me, and he's, good, he's, he's done well in at least three of the five. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see how you do on the final tomorrow. It's pretty tough. <laughs> So what stands out about Oscar is how much he's willing to help his classmates and how much his classmates look up to him. 
Whenever a student needs help with homework, they go to Oscar. When they need help with classes, choosing classes, they go to Oscar. If they have questions about transferring, applying to colleges, they go to Oscar. And he's always willing to help them. And like many of our students, Oscar works full time while maintaining stellar grades. But most importantly, when I see him at work, he says hi to me. <laughs> he doesn't run away. He's not embarrassed to be seen with me in public. Um, but he's, he's also a loving son and a loving brother. Um, I hear him talk about how he's help, help, always helping out his family and doing things for them. Um, so in the fall, Oscar's transferring to St. Martin's in mechanical engineering, and he's already received a prestigious uh, presidential scholarship there, which will help cover a lot of the, um, the tuition there. Congratulations, Oscar. I'm Larry Wiseman. Uh, for the Natural Science Engineering Track of Mathematics, the outstanding student is Quentin Wardell. In addition to earning uh, great grades in his math classes through the most advanced ones Pierce offers, Quentin has stood out uh, for the degree to which he has mastered the material. His Calculus three instructor, Tom Acallo, states, he is diligent, he puts forth his best effort in all he, that he does. There were many, many times that I could tell that he was way ahead of the rest of the class in developing ideas and solutions to problems. His work was always excellent and his thought processes were always sound. In the 200 level math courses, He's taken with me, uh, Quentin has impressed me, impressed me greatly with his strong understanding and, and ability, as well as his quickness to notice if I've made a mistake. <laughs> Something I actually do appreciate. Uh, Quentin has a goal of becoming a nuclear engineer and would like to do research in the field. Uh, in a conversation I had with him, he shared some of the knowledge and ideas he's already developed about nuclear energy efficiency and safety. And I'm really excited to have um, a person with his mind and, and, and character going into this field. Um, in fact, he gave a presentation in his current class on uses of differential equations in modeling atomic physics. Uh, this award is well deserved. Congratulations, Quentin. Sabedi. Um, I, our physics department nominee is Tyson Leatham. Tyson is taking his third class in the engineering physics series this quarter. Um, and he has excelled in every course. Um, he's not an engineering major. I've been hinting he should change, but I don't think he's going for it. <laughs> Tyson understands both the concepts and the mathematics in our courses. Uh, I've resorted to adding, and Tyson can't answer yet until I, when I ask questions in class. Tyson is an excellent team player. He often finishes problems we do in class first, and then he helps other students, always with a smile. For these reasons and more, Tyson is the outstanding student in physics this year. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Roya. Well, you see me again. That means it's time to get really loud and congratulate everyone in the Natural Sciences Division. Thank you. The next students we will honor are those in the Transi Transitional Education Division. And here to uh, make the first presentation is Joyce Pace. Hello. Good evening. You have to wear these when you've had a lot of birthdays. Okay, so I am presenting an award to Hilda. I'm going to try my best at this. Hilda, is she here? Yay, Hilda's here. Okay, Hilda Rosa dos Santos, Rosa dos Santos Neta. Did I say that right, Hilda? Yes! I've practiced that a lot. 
Um, Hilda was an awesome student. She worked hard each week to pay attention in class, participate in discussions and group activities, and finish her work on time. Even though there was a language barrier, she did not st that did not stop her from asking questions, clarifying expectations, or interacting with her teachers or classmates. She always came in with a positive attitude and a smile on her face, ready to meet the challenges of the day. Congratulations, Hilda. Good evening, my name is Mike Peluso. I am the, uh, uh, one of the College Success uh, College 110 instructors and also the uh, advisor for uh, high school completion. Um, our selection for College 110 outstanding student is Kiana Newton. In my five years of teaching college success, Kiana just may be the best all-around student I've ever had. And there have been several excellent students in those five years. Nothing but superlatives describes her. Her attendance was perfect. She was friendly, enthusiastic, and eager to learn, participated in all class discussions, offered comments, and wrote papers that were well thought out with a maturity far beyond her years. Her goal of becoming a psychologist has been well planned out, and her actions and plans all contribute to the attainment of that goal. She has an infectious personality that radiates to all around her. She will positively influence the lives of many people as she moves throughout her professional career. It's without any reservation whatsoever that I have recommended Kiana Newton for the Outstanding College Success Student. Sabina Berghagen and I teach English as a Second Language in the Trans Ed Department and I'm here to present this award to Rosi Chavez. <laughs> Rosi started in our ESL, English as a Second Language Department, um, level one through three classes in summer of 2015 and has barely missed a day since then. She's a very dedicated student who is always prepared to help others, and she's always wearing a smile, like right now. She's a wife and a mother, and while that takes a lot of her time, she always makes the time to do her homework and prepare for class. While English and school in general have not been easy for her, she has been diligent throughout. Despite all the challenges, she's persistent and has not given up. She's an inspiration to all her classmates. Both Teresa Knoll and I would like to honor Rosie's persistence. Congratulations. <laughs> Good evening, I'm Lori Griffin, and it's my honor to present the Outstanding Student Award in Reading to Tata Tiana Gorodilova. <laughs> this is what Tracy McDonald, Tatiana's uh, reading instructor, had to say about Tatiana. Tatiana is an outstanding student. She is also kind, cheerful, and extremely motivated and possesses a rare work ethic. During fall quarter 2016, Tatiana took Reading 99 and exhibited amazing academic growth, which culminated in her earning a well-deserved 4.0. 
Tatiana refused to quit even when the work became challenging and difficult. During mid-quarter, she expressed a desire to improve her English conversation skills because Russian is her first language. So, her instructor assisted her in enlisting the support of a Paris College tutor. But that was not enough. Tatiana wanted to do more to improve her reading skills. Her strong drive towards self-improvement and growth caused her to go above and beyond the classroom to enrich her learning. Tatiana also asked if she could read aloud daily during class for even more practice. The amount of effort and hard work Tatiana put forth is staggering. So it is my pleasure to present her with the Outstanding Student Award for Reading. And this is my co-teacher, Joyce Pace, and we are here very honored to present the award for the most outstanding student in the Pierce College Academic Diploma Program. This honor goes to Ruth Knight. By the way, the reason there are two of us is because there are actually two of us in the classroom when we teach, so. My other partner in crime wasn't here. <laughs> Ruth, very faithfully from the beginning of the quarter, attended class. That's not something that always happens with all of our PCAT students. But she didn't just attend class, she faithfully asked questions and went above and beyond to finish her work, not just on time, but she always turned her work in early. And her work was outstanding every time, showing her dedication to her studies and how much studying here really means to her. Ruth didn't just limit herself to her own studies, but she came alongside the other students in the class, particularly the ESL students who did not speak English as their first language, and she didn't understand their first languages. But she went ahead and help them. Help them understand what the assignment expectations were. Help them to learn. She always was positive, helpful, and respectful in all of her interactions with both teachers and students. So Ruth, thank you for being our student. Thank you, and please put your hands together and make some noise once again for all the awardees in the Transitional Education Division. And our final uh, area for Outstanding Student Awards tonight is in International Education, and here to present that award is Susan Taylor. All right. Well, I am really excited to be presenting the Outstanding International Student Award to Isha Ma. So Isha, come back up on stage. We're not done with you. Isha is an international student who has embraced every experience and opportunity to grow and learn inside and outside the classroom. And she's really fostered cross-cultural sharing and understanding during her study abroad experience here at Pierce. Isha has done all of this and more, all the while maintaining academic excellence. She's earned an overall GPA of 3.91, not easy, while being, <laughs> I know, while being enrolled in challenging honors classes and with English being her second language. At the same time, she's served as the vice president of clubs and organizations in the student life office this year. And in this role, she's not only provided leadership to the club's board during a period of explosive growth in club activity, 
but she's also been instrumental in mentoring and encouraging other international students to get involved on campus and in student life, which has been wonderful. She spent her time here immersed in our culture, and conversely, she shared her native Chinese culture and perspective with our college community. Isha is a great example of a student who will continue to use her international education to make a difference, and Pepperdine University will be very lucky to have her next year. Thank you. Please join me in congratulating this year's outstanding international students, Isha Ma. Right, we're moving right along. And one of the things I noticed as we were giving out all those awards is, is not that, um, in the beginning I said there were like three things that they were, like it was either hard work or it was commitment to excellence or it was contribution to community. And I kept hearing again and again how these students were not only being students, but they were also contributing so much back to their classmates as educators or contributing back to their community. So if we could have one more round of applause for all of the outstanding student awards tonight for all that they're doing for, for their community as well. We will now recognize two outstanding Raider student athletes. Here to present these honors is Lena Sobzak, assistant to the director of district athletics. two Raider student athletes who have excelled in the classroom and on the field of competition. The two individuals selected as the top student athletes of the year for 2016-2017 exemplify the very best in the term student athlete. Academic achievement, athletic excellence, team leadership, sportsmanship, and citizenship. These two individuals have represented Raider Athletics and Pierce College with the highest degree of integrity on campus and in the community. It is my sincere pleasure to announce our female Student Athlete of the Year, Emily Bishop, Raider Softball. Pierce College from Tacoma High School in fall quarter of 2015. She was a centerpiece of the Raiders outfield, starting in all of the team's 81 games over her two seasons. In addition to being one of the top defenders in the Northwest Athletic Conference, Emily was also one of the top offensive threats in the conference. She completed her time as a Raider with a career average, batting average of .476 third highest all time in Pierce softball history. Yeah, good job. In recognition of her outstanding play, she was selected as regional first team all-star in both her freshman and sophomore years. Emily's performance in the classroom has also been of all-star caliber, earning an outstanding 3.9 accumulative grade point average. Yeah. She's been named to the President's List in all five quarters of attendance. She was recently awarded the NWAC Athletic Conference Academic Excellence Award for her outstanding academic performance and was recently honored by the Tacoma Athletic Commission as Pierce College Outstanding Female Athlete of the Year. Emily has been invited to continue her education and softball career next year at Willamette University and plans to study exercise science. Ladies and gentlemen, our Raider Female Student Athlete of the Year, Miss Emily Bishop. Athlete of the Year, Brady Thomas, Raiders Soccer. <laughs> Brady
Brady came to Pierce from Bonnie Lake High School in the fall of 2015. During his two-year career, Brady anchored the defense for men's soccer team and helped lead the Raiders to a third place finish at the Northwest Athletic Conference Champions, Championships this past fall, the team's highest finish since 1995. That's a big accomplishment. Good job. Brady was also uh, a big contrib contributor on the offense, scoring three goals this past season, including a 60-yard shot from mid midfield in a 5-4 win over South Puget Sound. Brady proved to be a strong leader on the team, earning the res respect of his teammates and coaches. He was recognized for his outstanding play on the field by being selected the Northwest Athletic Conference West All-Region Team and honored for his achievements in the classroom by being named as a recipient of the NWAC Academic Leadership Award. Brady is completing his two years at Pierce with a cumulative GPA of 3.74, having been named to the Dean's List three times and the President's List once. He is still exploring his options for continuous education this fall. We look forward to following you. Um, congratulations. We're about a quarter way through the program. How are you all holding up? <laughs> hey, um, congratulations, you all. I hope you're I just, I'm just so excited. So we're going to continue, and now I'm going to turn the microphone over to Maddie. Come on out. Thank you. Here to announce our 2016-2017 student leadership team is our director of student life, Sean Cook, and our student engagement specialist, Kelsey Nabas. Thank you very much. Um, this is one of my favorite times of year where I get to recognize all of the hard work that our, all of our student leaders do uh, over the course of the year. Um, it's perhaps fitting that on the 50th anniversary of this great institution, I had the pleasure of having probably the strongest student leadership team I've ever had in my entire life. Uh, and so I'd like them to come up to the stage right now, those of you that are in the audience. I'd like to talk about you a little bit. I've, I've never had a team that's so committed, to, uh, so committed to excellence and to the mission of the institution and serving students as this team that you're going to see today. Uh, you'll recognize many of their faces. Many of them have up here, been up here and received many awards. In addition to being uh, excellent leaders and uh, uh, um, support for their community, they're also excellent scholars. They put in a lot of work on the student leadership team and uh, their, their academics are also stellar in almost every, in, in every case, so. Um, first, I'd like to recognize student government. Can I have the members of student government please step forward? got that out of the way. See, it's not good. All right. First up, I would like to uh, present this award to Maddie Martin, the student body president. I don't know if we do pictures with everyone. Is that okay? Is that, is that it's going to take a long time. But. Uh, Maddie's perhaps one of the, the strongest student body presidents I've ever seen. She's just handled this student government team that you see before you um, is uh, responsible for advocating for the students, the other students on campus, and they've done a stellar job. I've never had a more productive, more hardworking, more professional team of, uh, of uh, student government members in, in my career, and uh, they've made this year amazing for me uh, and for the students that they serve. Um, 
Uh, some of their big goals that they accomplished this year, I should have said this before I gave Maddie a word, but um, they've been working on developing new methods of promotion. They're, they've uh, uh, gotten a goal passed where they're going to install new promotional digital promotion methods on campus, including big video display walls, because one of the ways that we contribute to student success is through getting students engaged, and one of the ways we get student get students engaged is by letting them know what happens on campus, so that is a, it's a serious goal. Um, also, uh, they're making, they're going to be making info more available to, more widely available to students through the, the creation of wayfinding stations that they're going to install through campus, hopefully next year. And, uh, and so students are going to be able to have uh, interactive kiosks where they're going to be able to find all kinds of information about the school that they'll need to help to, to be successful. Um, they've, they're installing uh, hydration stations and hand dryers in all the bathrooms on campus. Uh, to try and increase sustainability for our students, make it more easy for students to use refillable water bottles and to dry their students without waste, dry their hands without wasting paper. Uh, and last but not least, um, thanks to their work this year, they're going to be installing a really comprehensive uh, ca a security camera system in all, in all of the parking lots on campus. Um, so hopefully by, I don't know how fast that's going to happen, but the money was approved today. Uh, to the tune of around three hundred thousand dollars, and so hopefully that's going to make camp students feel safer on campus and uh, deter any kinds of crime and increase our quality of life for our students. So thank you, student government. Uh, you guys have been great this year. Second up for the awards now that we've got Maddie and everybody, student government is Esther Larson, the vice president of our activities board. Esther leads the, the activities board on campus, which is a, a, a group of six activities programmers and our graphics coordinator. And uh, they've, they planned, let's see, I got all the statistics right here. They planned over 50 events this quarter, 50 events uh, between them. And they've had over 1,800 attendees, 1,800 attendees at all of their events. And all of these events have been excellent, planned virtually flawlessly, and, and innovative ideas that are, are reaching students in ways that we haven't done before. And so I just want to thank, uh, thank Esther for her leadership in that role. Thank you. Next we have Isha Ma, who you have seen before. Is Isha here? Hi, Isha. I think Isha is the, perhaps the first international student that we've ever had on the student leadership team at Pierce College Piala. So it's really cool to see international students getting involved on the team. Um, you made the team much stronger this year. Uh, Isha is the, the vice president of clubs and organizations, which means she leads, leads our clubs board, which is the first time we've ever had a clubs board on campus. This is the first year that happened. There was a tremendous amount of learning, and there was a huge learning curve for everybody in trying to to handle the growth of clubs and stuff on campus. Um, in the last year, uh, I think, in the pre previous year, we had around 10 club events over the whole entire year here at Pierce College Puyallup. This year, we had over 80. So that's an 800% increase in one year. <laughs> it's huge. And, Nisha was at the helm for all of that, and thank you so much for everything that you did to help grow that and expand that engagement opportunity for students on campus. Thank you. <laughs> um, next up, I'd like to recognize Nadine the Boss. Nadine Nabas was our uh, student advocacy senator this year, and I think she set the benchmark uh, that other students will be trying to, trying to reach for years to come with her, just her diligence and uh, the, the way that she's pursued every goal that's been put in front of her. Thank you very much, Nadine. <laughs> Next, I'd like to recognize Carly Tryon, who you've seen also.
Carly, one of the backbones of the student government organization who manages all the records and the budgets and everything associated to the work they do, in addition to participating in all the goals I had mentioned before. Thank you for all your hard work this year, Carly. Next, Kishana Curtis. Kishana Curtis is our public relations senator, uh, and she broke new ground in, in her position as well this year in terms of elevating our presence on social media and planning a lot of other promotional efforts on campus in ways that have never, never been done before. So thank you very much, Kishana. Manjinder Sandhu. Manjinder is our legislative senator. Um, and once again, we had a more active year of legislative advocacy than we've ever had in the history of the organization. Manjinder met multiple times with uh, uh, the legislators that serve the districts that Pierce College serves. Uh, coordinated a variety of efforts, including uh, voter registration efforts. He, he was down in Olympia on the Hill telling people uh, about the needs of Pierce College students and trying to make great changes for the students of Pierce College and the students of Washington. Thank you very much. Thank you. Just one more round of applause for student government. Thank you very much. Next up, could I recognize the activities board? Okay. Uh, first up, I'd like to recognize Nanta. Uh, Nanta came to us later in the year uh, as our diversity and equity coordinator, so he planned events around diversity and equity on campus. Um, he, uh, he planned his first quarter of events. He went away to the Achieving the Dream conference and came back so fired up about trying to make a difference for our students that he wanted to change virtually all of his events, and he did. And he made, he had a, a couple of outstanding quarters of events, and he's just a great spirit of our team, and uh, we, like, we love him very much. Thank you. Justin Malepe, Entertainment Coordinator. Um, Justin has been an outstanding presence on the team this year. Um, he's, uh, I think he lends a very mature and level-headed air to everything that we do. In addition to having some outstanding family movie nights, and I think we're, you know, kind of changing family movie nights forever in terms of getting them all locked in to maximize the way that we can serve students and that, for those events and some of the other more innovative events that he's planned this year. He's done a great job. Thank you, Justin. <laughs> Angela Madrid. As I said, Angela is our interactive media and gaming coordinator. I'm really lucky. Actually, I, I didn't mention about Justin. Justin is going to be returning next year, and Angela is also going to be returning next year, so it's going to be really exciting to have her on the team again for another year. She's an outstanding programmer um, who, who, once again, has probably done more in her position than anybody who's come before. She's done a great job this year, and I'm really excited to have her back on the team next year. Thank you, Angela. Next, Andrew Botcher, Sustainability and Wellness Coordinator. Andrew has been a great addition to our team this year. He actually joined us later in the year as well. Um, but he has a passion for environmental sustainability and wellness that I have, like, I've never, I've never seen before. This man, if you want to know anything about 
uh, agriculture or the environment, or you need to know how to recycle something, Andrew is your man. <laughs> so um, he's planned a great series of very well thought out events that really focus on raising awareness of the issues that are uh, included in his area of programming. Thank you very much for all you did this year, Andrew. James Hesketh. James is our Social Issues and Service Coordinator. Uh, he did an outstanding job this year with his events, planning uh, events that arra uh, raised awareness of a variety of issues. Um, but just as perhaps just as important, I feel like James has been another, really one of the spirits of the team who has really contributed to uh, a really incredible office environment. So thank you everything that you've done for everything that you've done today, this year, James. Uh, Aisha Santos. Aisha's our recreation and outdoors coordinator. She's another student that came to us later in the year. Um, and she jumped right in without having the benefit of all the summer training that a lot of our students get. Um, but uh, I remember from her interview all the great ideas she had for all of her events and things that she wanted to do. She's got a very creative mind, and uh, she was a, a great member of the activities board this year. Thank you very much, Aisha. Uh, this might be Kat Schwab's final award of the night, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Katarina Schwab. Uh, this is Kat's second year on the team, and she is an amazing graphic designer in addition to all the other things that you've heard about this year. I think one of the reasons a lot of our programs and activities have been so successful is because people have known about them because of the eye-catching and really well-crafted promotion that Kat has made this year. Thank you very much, Kat. She's going to be leaving behind big shoes when she goes. All right. One more time for our activities board. Thank you. Next up are clubs coordinators, clubs board. So, okay, first up is Noah Peaver. Um, again, Noah, Noah came in uh, in the middle of the year this year. Um, and had to figure out everything on the fly in a system that was constantly changing and evolving to try and serve student clubs in the ways that, we, that they could be best served. And she jumped in, she's got a great spirit, she's always positive and happy, and she brings a, a great mood to the, to the office whenever she's there, uh, and she makes all the hard work easier to do. Thank you very much, Noah. And Kwan Nguyen. Kwa also was hired at the same time as Noah and uh, came into the office without, with very little training and, and overcame a lot of obstacles to try and help, help our clubs be successful and was successful in doing so. Um, if you see a, a blur go by you on campus, it's probably Kwa on a longboard, so watch out. But um, thank you very much, Kwa, and to all the club's board members for uh, everything you've done this year. Thank you. So we have also got Quinn, Quinn Huynh, who is going to be on the team next year as our Vice President of Clubs and Organizations. She's a clubs coordinator here, but she's not here tonight. So uh, I'll make sure she gets that when she's here. Um, I want to I thank you all for everything that you've done this year for students. You've gone above and, above and beyond in every respect, and thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
last but not least, I, I'd like to recognize the woman standing to my left, uh, Kelsey Nebraska. This is the third time you've heard the Nabas name tonight, but uh, Kelsey, this is her first year in the office as the student engagement specialist. She's, she's my right hand, and she, we, I, we couldn't do it without her. She's been an absolutely amazing addition to the Office of Student Life and to this college, and I just want to thank you, although I don't have an award for That's you. Okay. I want to thank you for everything that you do. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. <laughs> to present our student award for equity, diversity, and inclusion is our student advocacy senator, Nadine Nabas. Thank you, Maddie. Uh, my name is Nadine Nabas, and I'm the Student Advocacy Senator, as she has said. Um, I'm honored to be here presenting the Student Award for Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion, formerly known as the Multicultural Student of the Year Award. Pierce College has been consistently working towards creating a diverse and equitable institution. Thus, we found it fitting to rename this award to be able to recognize all communities of students. This award is given to a Pierce student who is consistently advocating for the inclusion of all students on campus. This student in particular has worked extremely hard as the current president of the Gay Straight Alliance in cultivating a, a safe and inclusive community for the LGBTQ plus students, as well as through hosting events to educate the college community on such issues. They are one of the most passionate people that I know and a personal friend of mine. I'm excited to be able to name Rhiannon Weber as the recipient of this award. <laughs> He's amazing. President of clubs and organizations, Isha Ma, you've seen her up here, um, actually had to run to a final for her business and law class. So um, I will be presenting the next few awards for her as well. Um, the Gay Straight Alliance has been a diligent advocate for the LGBTQ plus community. They've hosted multiple events, including their Myths, Misconceptions, and Allyship panel, Gender 101 events, and Mental Health panel to educate our community. Their mission is to make Pierce College a safe and inclusive learning environment, and I cannot think of a better recipient for this award. It is a privilege to announce the Gay Straight Alliance as the Club of the Year in Excellence and Advocacy. Last one, I promise. So, this is also on behalf of Ishima. The entire purpose of having a clubs board is to make campus a more engaging place, to make students want to come to campus and feel like they belong. The Black Student Union has hosted 19 events this year, solely. They have... They have played an active role in engaging students on campus. The Black Student Union aims to increase the educational, political, cultural, and social awareness of the black community, and I'm absolutely honored to announce the Black Student Union as the Club of the Year for Engagement and Excellence. <laughs> Hi. 
All right. They thank you, Nadine. I was going to say thank you, Isha. The next award I have the distinct honor to present is the Student Advocate Award. This award goes to a faculty or staff member who consistently goes above and beyond to advocate for student needs and interests. Arts and Humanities professor Christina Adams was nominated for this award by several students. She has worked tirelessly to make herself as available as possible, including staying after hours to work one-on-one -on -one with students to make sure they were reaching their maximum potential. Christina is known for advocating for student success and ensuring her classes were well aware of the power and rights that they held as students. One student expressed the support she felt on just the first day of public speaking class with Christina. The student said she was given resources that she didn't even know Pierce College offered and was impressed by how invested Christina was in the advocacy of student voice and opinions. I'm honored to present the Student Advocacy Award to Christina Adams. <laughs> Next, to present our Outstanding Faculty Award is our Vice President of Activities, Esther Larson. So this next award goes to Karina Wyckoff, who has poured... <laughs> Karina has poured endless time and effort into the education of her students. No matter where a student's starting skill level is, each one benefits from her guidance and is inspired to challenge themselves to learn more. This year, she took on the awesome responsibility of head editor of the Student Literary Arts Magazine and remains dedicated to serving as head of our English department. Furthermore, she has done everything in her power to foster budding, the budding writers at Pierce by serving as the advisor for the Ink Slingers Creative Writing Coalition. She has gone above and beyond her position to advocate for students of this college. I am honored to present the Outstanding Faculty Award to Karina Wyckoff. Hey, how y'all doing tonight? Oh, come on. How y'all doing tonight? That's what I care. So, it is my pleasure and honor to introduce our Pierce College District Chancellor, Dr. Michelle Johnson, for closing remarks. Thank you, Marty. Well, good evening, everyone. Are you having a good time? A lot of individuals to celebrate. You know, it really is an honor to be here in our 50th year of service to our community and a fabulous learning community that it is. I think that what you have heard this evening is the dedication of Pierce College faculty, students, administrators, and staff to this wonderful learning community. You know, you heard about excellence in the classroom. You heard about individual students who have helped one another in and out of the classroom. You've heard about service learning, our students and our faculty who commit themselves to making this a better place. You've heard about athletics, another way in which students excel, and in student leadership, and in clubs, and in activities. It is an amazing place to be when you commit yourself to excellence, and that's what Pierce College has done. I'd like us, if we could, to please acknowledge our faculty for the incredible work that they do to support our students and their learning. Could we please do that? <laughs> Family and friends, you're so important to our students because we know that you have sacrificed as well. And because of your support and your commitment, they can continue on and meet their full potential. I'm always excited to hear about the journeys that our students have taken. You heard them coming from many different places, different countries, different levels of preparation, different ages, different backgrounds, and all of them come together to learn from one another. It's a very powerful place to be. This is my 39th year at Pierce College. 
And during that period of time, I have just seen us get really better and better. Maybe that's not okay for me to say as the Chancellor and CEO of Pierce College, but it's better because of all of you and what it is and who we stand for and what we're about. So I wanna thank you for being here, for sharing in this wonderful learning community, for giving of yourselves, because I know that we learn from you as much as you learn from us. Never a day goes by that I don't meet someone in the hall or in a meeting who has an important insight, who's willing to speak up. And I heard Nikki say it earlier, to tell your story, to tell your truth. And it's important, that's what we do, that we tell our truth so that we can learn from one another, that we can grow. We may disagree, that's okay. In fact, that's good. It's important to disagree. It's important to have different points of view and to recognize that it's through that diversity and that willingness to be open to learning is what makes us great. And so thank you so much for being part of the Pierce College community, for being here, and for helping us move this community forward. It's been a great evening, and I'm gonna step away, and I think we're gonna bring out our two presidents, Marty, and Maddie, Maddie, her team has done an incredible job. I agree with Sean. I've had the opportunity with work to work with Maddie throughout the year, and um, it's a great team of leadership. And so, Marty and Maddie, you joining us here to say good night? Okay, sure. thank you. We'd love to. Thank you very much. So, we've reached the end of our program just want to thank you all very, very much for being here. Again, incredibly proud of all the students who are here. When I just see you come up on the stage and I hear the descriptions, I just know the world is in good hands. So I want to thank you for that. That's a good thing. Um, I want to thank all the behind the scenes people that made this happen. There's just way too many to name right now, so we're not going to do it. So Maddie, what would you like to say? Congratulations again to all of the Pierce College Puyallup outstanding students. There you just deserve it. So, this is really it. So when you leave and walk out the door, there's a whole bunch of refreshments out there for you. And if you want, you're welcome to clap just one more time. Y'all have a good night. <laughs>